Hi guys, Jessica here. Today's workout is high intensity or interval training or HIT combined with some heavy strength training. So lest you think we've gotten too soft here, we're gonna amp up the intensity today. So what we're gonna use is a set, one set of heavy dumbbells. Now heavy is relative to you. I'm gonna use 10 pounds, feel free to go higher or lower. And then I've got a step, a high riser step, but you can use something like the edge of your couch or a sturdy ottoman instead. You just want something about, about a foot, maybe a foot and a half tall to use. But first, as always, let's warm things up. Just give me a march right here. Good, so starting to gradually bring up that heart rate. Now give me a little side to side squat. We're gonna come down and up. Sit back in the hips. So it's because it's our warm up, we're not making it too crazy just yet. Good. Now we're gonna add a little reach. I want you to take the hands down to the feet, up to the ceiling. Down and up. So it's the same lower half. Out and in with the squat. Good, as your legs feel warmer, feel free to take it down a little deeper. Eight more. Seven, push those hips behind. Six. Five, good. Four more. Three more. Two more. One, now hold it here, just give me a tap to the side. Good. Now we're gonna bring the hands in, do a little punch press. Starting to elevate that heart rate, good. See if you can make that a full jumping jack. Out and up. Hold down the back if you bend those elbows. For four, three, two. Keep your feet apart, give me a little twist. Turn the hips, flip the back heel, abs in tight. Clasp your hands together. We're gonna do a little cross chop. Coming up to the right shoulder, down to the left. Turn your hips, turn your heels. As you do that chop, your abs are gonna get tighter. Wind it up, chop it down. Good, four more. Three more. Two more. And one, hold it center, take those hands across your hips. Make sure your abs are really bracing in nice and tight. Now let's reverse there. We're gonna come up to the left, down to the right, chop. So it's really important, your heels, your back heel lifts on this rotation here. You don't want to torque the knees. Chop it across. Squeeze. Squeeze, good. Last four right here. Four, three, two. Take it back to a march. Bring it in. You're gonna go back to that side to side squat and reach. Let's add the arms right into it. Take it to the side, out, up. So we should already feel the heart rate climbing. Good. Nice active warm up. We're not just dipping our toe in, we're jumping right in the pool today. Good. Nice. Four more. Three more. Two more. Hold it here, give me your toe tap, punch and press. That's it. If you can, turn it into that full-on jack. Squeeze. Nice. And four, three, two, give me your turn. Pivot. Arms up. Shot. Turn the hips, make it strong. Abs in. Squeeze. Squeeze. Four more just like that. Four, three, two. Take it across the hips, hold it center, re-brace those abs in. Make sure they're strong. Reverse that chop, here we go. Up, cross, cross. Lift that back heel, strengthen the abs as those arms come across. Last four, here it is. Four, three, two, and 
one, let's walk it out. All right, warm up's over. We're gonna go into our first set of those high intensity intervals. So using that box or piece of furniture, you're gonna take some pressure off your wrist, but we're gonna use it to spike your heart rate. So I want you to face into it. You're gonna place your hands underneath your shoulders, walk or jump your feet back to a plank position, keep your abs in tight. Give me a knee in. So I'm bringing my shoulders over my hands, using my abs to bring the knees into my chest. Now you're gonna walk or jump your feet back into that step, stand up and reach. A little bit quicker, here we go, we take it down. Jump or walk, knees. Walk or jump it back, stand up and reach. Down, back, knees. Good, modification option, you just step your feet in and out. Run those knees. Bring it in and up. Good. Down, back, knee. Jump or walk it in. Stand it up. Now my advanced folks, if you want to make this even more intensive, instead of just standing up, you're going to jump up like this. Jump or walk. Last one. Down, out, in. Jump or walk it in. Now, just coming in and out of that plank. Down, back, in, lift. If you want to, jump at the top. Down, back, up. Power up through those legs. Four more. Three. Two more. Last time. Breathe, hold. Great job. So as you're breathing, go get one of your heavy weights. Pick it up carefully. Keep moving, catch your breath. Coming out of a high intensity interval. So we're gonna move on to a lunge pass over press. We're gonna start with the weight in the right hand. Your left foot's gonna come forward. Stationary lunge position. Bring that opposite weight in front of your shoulder. Give me a basic lunge. Down, up. Abs are tight. Shoulders are square. You're bending both knees about 90 degrees here. Two more, then we're gonna start that press pass. Now push the weight up. You're gonna switch hands at the top. Bring it down to the other shoulder. Down, up. So your abs are working to stabilize your torso as you press that weight up and over. Yes. Good. Lift. Keep the weight slightly in front of you at the top. I need eight more. Come on. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Try not to lean side to side. It's four. Three. Two. Keep it in your left hand. Turn to the side. Give me a squat flat back. We call this the lawnmower row. You're going to wind that arm back. Pull. Pull. So I'm turning through my shoulders, rowing through the back, using the abs. Heart rate is high. Wind it up. Abs in. Don't let your back round. Pull back. Good. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five, you got it. Four more. Three more. Two more. Keep that weight in your hand. Come up. Three. Take a second. We're gonna set that up on the other side. Taking a deep breath. Opposite foot comes forward. Bring the weight in front of your shoulder, abs in. Basic lunge. Down and up. So this is where we check in. Front knee over the ankle. Back knee drops straight down. Abs and tight, shoulders square. Get ready. Add that press and pass. Switch. Good. Work on that lowering phase. Really control the weight down. Good. Now the heavier the weight is, the more intense this gets, right? Abs in. 
three. Stay with me. Good. I need four more. Three. Two more side to side. Good. Here we go. Now keep it in your left hand. Turn to the side. Squat and reach, flat back. Here we go, wind it up. Pull, pull. Flat back forward. Turn that shoulder, let it wrap behind your back as you do that wind up pull. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, guys. Let's carefully set that dumbbell down. Take a second. Should have brought a towel with me today. So we're gonna go back to your first set of that cardio move. So, I'm gonna do this again, this way. So we squat in and out, we jump back, or walk the feet. Ready, take it down, run the knees. Jump or walk it in, stand up or jump. It's down, out, knees. Jump or walk it in, reach. Jump or walk. Two more here. Jump or walk, stand or jump. Last one here. Then we're just gonna work on that in and out. Jump or walk, in and out. Take it down and back. In and up, jump up at the top if you have extra energy. Lift. Now stay light on your feet by keeping your weight in those arms. Abs tight as the feet, jump or walk back. Two more, right here. One more. Three, recover. Woo, how we doing? Yes? Good. We're gonna move on. We're gonna work the chest. So I want you to let your heart rate come down even more. But first, have a seat on the edge of your step or your couch. Bring the hands outside the hips. Hips in close. Flex those feet, just give me a little bend. Think up. So I'm not dipping too low here. Just a tiny little bend in my knees. Hello, peanut. You come in after the cardio interval, I see. Push down, squeeze. Good. Now I want you to come down, hold the bend in your elbow. Give me a little press. Focus on pushing with the backs of your arms. Don't sink into your wrists here. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. Have a seat. Bring it back in. Let's grab those weights. So carefully, especially when you're working with heavier weights, you always want to keep your abs engaged. Now we're going to lay back with our upper back and head resting on the step or the couch or the ottoman. Grabbing the dumbbells. So I want you to keep the core engaged, your hips lifted here. You're just gonna give me a basic chest press, palms face away, take it down, take it up like this. Push. Squeeze right above the middle of your chest here. Good. Now if you've got room for it, give me a little dip in your hips and then push up through the glutes as you extend those arms. Eight more, seven, six, five, good, four more here. Last two, one more. Great job, let's carefully set those weights down. Excuse me, Peanut. Carefully bring yourself up so you're sitting back up on that couch or step, sitting. We're gonna work the abs here, I want you to pull up. Tap down. Now my back is straight. My abs are tight. If you can tap the floor, great, but if you don't make it down, that's okay too. It's actually harder that way. Now, see if you can let go. Keep sitting up. If you wanna make it even harder, bring your hands behind your head. Make this come from those abs. Squeeze. Eight 
four. Six. Last four. Two more. Great job. Shift your weight forward, place your hands on your knees, round your back, arch your back, roll all the way up. Great work, you guys. All right. What do you think, Peanut? We ready to move on? Good. So we're gonna move on from here. If you can, stand on that piece of furniture great. If you can't, do this flat on the floor. So we're gonna do our next power interval. Placing one foot on top of it, right in the center. Back knee bends. We're gonna tap the foot. Up, down. So if you're on the floor, it just looks like this. Keep a bend in that standing leg. Kind of like a half squat. Good. Get ready. Single counts, go for it. Push, push. Level two. Drive your knee up. Level three, hop in it. I'm gonna stay at level two. You go where you need to. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it back. Woo, feeling that thigh. Yes, Tina's just gonna stretch. Let's switch feet. Take it slow, shift your weight forward. Here. Pump the arms. A couple more, then we're gonna speed it up. Keep your weight in the front leg. Ready? Single counts, go. Pop it if you want to. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, breathe. Come back. Great job. All right. So, I gotta shift myself around because I'm small on space. We're gonna come back to the first set of exercises. Start with the weight in the right hand. Peanut, you're gonna have to move over, my darling. Okay. Step your left foot forward. Just your lunge. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, get ready for the press pass. Take it up and over. Good. Don't let it drop your low your shoulders. Gotta be ready to go back up. Eight more alternating here. Four more. Two more. Keep it in your left hand. Turn to the side. Squat reach. Lawn mower pull. Here we go. Flat back. Last eight. Here we go. Make it bigger. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two more. Perfect, keep it in the hand, march it out. Take a breath, you're gonna set it up on the other side. Step forward with your opposite foot. Hold, stationary lunge. Eight, seven, it's just down and up. Six, five, four, three, Two, get ready for your press pass. Take it up, pass it over. Keep it in front of you. Keep it strong. Extend those arms all the way up. Come on. Eight more alternating. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep it in your right hand. Turn it side, flat back, wind it up, let's go. Pull. This hand can be reaching her back. Last eight.
four, three, give me two more. Perfect, come on up. Set that weight down carefully. So we're gonna hit it again. Squat thrust mountain climbers on that elevation. Take a deep breath. Ready, take it down and back. Knees in. Jumper walk it back. Jumper stand. Now, cut the mountain climber in half. So we're gonna come down and back. Four, three, two, one, in and up. Do it again. Down, back, four, three, two, one. Lift. Four, three, two, one. One more. Four, three, two, one. Jump or walk it in and out eight times. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Jump at the top if you can. Now, last four, go as fast as you can. Two. One. March and breathe. So, let's come back for those dips. Catching your breath, hands outside the hips. Lift your hips up, but keep them close. Your range of motion, think up, up. Lift. Don't let the hips come out here. Keep them in close. Keep your abs in tight. Smaller range of motion. Faster tempo. Keep thinking up. 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 Don't sink into it. Lift. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Let's set up for the chest press. So I'm gonna bring my weights to either side of me. So I'm gonna lay back first. Head, neck, and shoulders on your step or your ottoman. Carefully pick up those weights, abs in tight. Give me that press straight up here. Feet are underneath the hip and the knees. If you can, give me that little dip down. Push up. So if that's not comfortable on your back, just maintain the bridge. Squeeze and left. Squeeze and left. Good. Press. We got eight more. Keep it over the center of your chest. Six. Four more. Tighten up the abs. Two. Beautiful. Carefully set the weights down. We're going to come up and have a seat for the abs. So we come down, up. Now if you start to feel your back, don't lean as far back. Keep this in those abs. Level two or level three. I'm gonna keep reaching forward. Stay where you need to stay. Eight, seven, zip up that middle. Six. Five. Remember, you can use your hands if you need it. Two more. Last one. Bring it forward, hands on your thighs. Stretch your back. Release. Roll all the way up. Setting up those knees, repeater knees. On the floor or on your step. One foot in the center. Shift your weight forward. Tap it first. Let's go right into it because you know it. Option two, knee comes up. Option three, you power up. Listen to your body. Use your arms, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, walk it back. Woo, feel that leg. All right, ready for the other side? Here we go, let's finish it. Tap. Drive the knee up if you can. Power up if you want more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
walk it back. Woo! Great job. Okay, so to finish, you do one more set, just with your upper body, a little bit more legs. So breathe for a minute. I'm gonna set up my space. Still only need one dumbbell. So let's start off with the weight in our left hand. I'm gonna do a side lunge. So make sure you got room to step out to the side. Bend that knee, take it down, curl up. Down to the floor, just outside that foot. Squeeze. Pull up through your inner thighs. Two more, nice and slow. Good, one more. Now, just the lunge, keep your arm extended. Eight, seven, six, five. Use those inner and outer thighs. Four, hips go back. As that knee bends, two, hold it up, curl it. Turn your palm up, turn it in. Rotate the palm. Good. Grab a weight with both hands. Take your feet a little wider. Drop your chin to your chest. Extend. You can stay here. Or start to lift one heel. Or extend it out. Four more. Two more. Breathe. Switch hands. Move over so you got room for that side lunge. Slow and with your curl. Ready? Down. Hammer so the palm faces in for this first set of biceps. Hips back. Really squeeze. Four more like that. Two more. Last one. Now extend the leg, extend the arm, make it nice and quick. Focus on the leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more. Hold it up, palm up. Four more, rotate up and in. Two, hold it with both hands, bring it overhead. Extension first, take the feet apart, lift your right heel, or extend out. Drop your chin to your chest, don't look up at me. Extend those arms all the way. Eight. Seven, six, five, give me four more. Two more. Yes, carefully lower that weight to the floor. Woo. Let's cool down. Awesome work. I know we worked hard. Breathe. So remember when you're setting up your workout week, you want to kind of make it look like this. So you have some times where you really hit some peaks, but you also have a valley to complement that peak. You don't want to do too much high intensity. Sometimes too much low intensity can be not challenging enough, but just listen to your body. There may be some times where you need to just stay low intensity and that's totally fine. Give me a deep breath in. Clasp the hands together. Stretch over. Come center. Other side. Good, take your hands behind your back open across your chest. So remember on my website, jessicasmith.tv, jessicasmithtv.com, read the bar. Then you can put together your own workout rotation based on all our YouTube videos or even the DVDs that you might have, bring your palms together. So I've listed them out by intensity level, length, and where you can find them. 
So hopefully that will help you maybe as you're putting together your new workout schedule for the new year. Good guys, let's bend the knees slightly. I want you to slide down as far forward as you can comfortably, stretching out those hamstrings, round your back forward, shake out your head, neck, and shoulders. Bend the knees more, support your spine as you roll up. Last one here, we're gonna press the pelvis forward, keeping the legs straight, extend back. Up one more time. Awesome job today. Thanks for hitting it hard with me, and I look forward to sweating with you again real soon. Have a good day, guys.